Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Today we're going to cover the topic of PDF content reusability in InDesign, presenting various techniques and solutions. As we know, the Creative Cloud Platform offers tools such as Acrobat and Illustrator when it comes to working with a PDF file. Both of these products allow you to manipulate and modify PDF files directly. Now that being said, when it comes to InDesign, we can place a PDF file document easily. However, recovering the data or converting an entire PDF file into an InDesign file type is a completely different story. So let's get right into it. So as you, as you can see here, we have the PDF file open in Acrobat and we want to convert this into InDesign. Now there are three options that we can choose from. The very first option being the universal copy and paste method. It's very simple. You select the text, hit on copy, then you open InDesign and you click on paste. Now, as you can see, it works. However, all the formatting is gone. Now option number two would be exporting the PDF file to Word using Acrobat and then placing that Word document into InDesign. So as you can see, we have opened up this PDF file and we're going to export it into a Word document. We're going to click on save. And now we're going to place, we're going to open up InDesign, sorry, and we're going to place this Word document into InDesign. It may take a few seconds. And as you can see, it works. However, again, all the, a lot of the formatting is gone. And InDesign works well with just more than just RGB colors. It works with lab colors and CMYK colors. And as you can see, both those color schemes are gone. Now the last option and the best option would be, use, would be to use the PDF to ID plugin. Now this plugin converts a PDF directly to editable InDesign file, making all elements live and producing a highly structured document. Now in order to use this, you click on the Recosoft tab, then click on PDF to ID convert file, PDF, uh, convert PDF file. And you click on this and you click on open. And PDF to ID inspects and validates the fonts used in the PDF. And you can, as you can see, this options page shows up, but we're going to be clicking on OK. It may take a few seconds. And as you can see, the PDF is converted to a well-structured InDesign document with all elements live and editable. Now, depending on your requirements, the copy and paste technique or converting to Word using Acrobat may work for you. But that being said, the PDF to ID offers the most direct and seamless path in getting the PDF content into InDesign, enhancing workflow automation. 